Oh, G Funky Boxing. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Jaime Munguia versus John Ryder. Munguia stops Ryder in nine rounds, guys. He knocks him down four times, guys. Four times in nine rounds. Once in the second, once in the fourth, and twice in the ninth round. And the corner throws in the towel. And uh, John Ryder, yeah, he got beat up pretty badly here uh, against Munguia. He had a couple of good rounds. Um, but I think that Munguia, you know, he started out pretty quick. Um, Might have been taking a couple of rounds off to, uh, you know, not burn himself out, not, uh, you know, empty the gas tank trying to knock Ryder out. Because we know Ryder's got a reputation of being a tough guy, being able to weather uh, some heavy storms in the ring. Um, and it looked like that was going to happen here. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, he was having, like I say, he had a couple of good rounds before the stoppage. But Munguia hit him with a nice timed right hand right on the button, man, and, and hurt him in the ninth round. Um, you know, Ryder wasn't going to quit. So his corner had to save him from, from himself, and I think it was the right call. But this was a very good, impressive win for Jaime Munguia. You got to give credit where credit is due. Uh, a lot of fans were asking for Munguia to step up in competition. Uh, this was a step up for him. John Ryder had just gave Canelo a tough fight um, in Ryder's previous fight. And, you know, there was a lot of people that were thinking that Ryder was going to beat Munguia. I wasn't one of them. Um, I was over... Uh, I haven't had a chance to do any kind of videos lately, but, I, you know, I was picking Munguia to win by stoppage. Um, and, you know, I'm not surprised here. I, you know, I feel like Ryder, although he's a tough guy, he's been in some tough, tough fights, man. And, uh, you know, he, he, as good, he's a good fighter and, and he's tough, but, you know, I was thinking, is he a little long in the tooth here, you know? And I think that he was. And, is again, it's not to take anything away from Jaime Munguia. Um, this was, uh, again, the best win of his career, and he looked fantastic beating up John Ryder. So, look, we'll see what happens here, man. They asked Oscar about Canelo, possibly. We've heard some rumors about uh, it possibly being Jaime Munguia. Um, it could be. Uh, I'm not going to uh, be upset if, if Canelo picks Jaime Munguia next. Um, there's rumors about Jamal Charlo. So here's the thing, man. If it is Jamal Charlo, right, we know that... Canelo's going to be mandated to fight David Benavides, at least according to what Mauricio had said last year. We'll see what happens. But um, look, if he's not going to fight Jaime or David in May, then I say David Benavides versus Jaime Munguia right there in that same venue, Phoenix, Arizona. That place was packed tonight. They said it was over 10,000 people there. Imagine David Benavides, who's from or fights out of uh, Arizona in that area. He's got a, a huge fan base there as well. That place is sold out. There won't be a, a available seat for anybody. That place will be packed, and it's a great fight. Both of those guys throw punches and bunches, um, both big super middleweights. It's a fantastic matchup. I'm all for that next, too. So a lot of good matchups here happening at Super Middleweight. But you guys let me know what you think about Jaime and, and what could possibly be next for him. This is G-Foggy Boxing. I'm out.